All right, guys, good morning. Uh, my name is Austin. You're watching Fishing Fever. Uh, we are at Bugs Island, or Kerr Lake, as some people call it. We're camping down here for a few days, so if a video comes out of this trip, it's just going to be a kind of a compilation of the times that I go out because uh, obviously I'm here for my family and to have fun with them. But early in the morning, maybe late in the evenings, you know, that's when I've got a little bit of time to come out here. I caught some bait this morning uh, on rod and reel, just a bunch of brims, a couple white perch, nothing crazy. We're camping over here at North Bend Park. We come down here at least a couple times a year and we really like it. It's a beautiful place. But anyways, I think I'm marking fish in this creek over here. And so we're going to drag our way out of this creek. And uh, if we don't catch anything, we're going to loop around, maybe drag on a ledge or something. But we'll just see what happens. No big deal. I think we got a fish on here guys it was a weird takedown i kind of just thought it was hung up you can probably hear my trolling motor out of the water and my little redneck outfit there at the extension handle this feels like it might be a pretty decent fish going against the wind though i mean it's a little hard to tell but this is definitely a fish. I'm happy about that. I didn't get anything up in that creek. And then we went through some deep water. And I didn't find anything deep. And this looks like a pretty decent fish. You know, nothing. No state records or anything. But... enough fish to be happy about <laughs> oh, yeah on the FOA rod and FOA planter board let's look at that I'd say she's in the 20s I don't think she's quite 30 or anything like that weird hook set yeah not too bad I think I'm gonna get a picture of this one all right I got my picture and we have entered in some really shallow water one of those planter boards has come off the hook so I got some work to do On she is. All right, guys, good morning. It is day two of the camping trip. This video, as you can probably tell, is just going to be kind of a compilation of the days that I'm here and my fishing endeavors i'm not uh gonna film family activities but hopefully y'all get to see me catch some fish we're gonna throw around a bobber real quick see if we can get maybe a couple bluegill there was a bite the water level is down so much from last time i was here that kind of crazy how much it can fluctuate the wind has been pretty rough the last few days There's something little. That's okay. I don't really care. A little green sunfish. That'll do just fine. I'll just lob the tail off and put him on there. Never get him off the hook. Oh, I'm still waking up. I haven't drank I haven't drank my coffee yet. Yeah, still got some fish in there from yesterday. Just cast it into a tree. Good way to start the day. There's no shortage of uh, bait fish here at Bugs Island. 
I've never really had an issue getting bait. In the springtime, you can do this right here and you'll catch some really nice ones, like eater size shell crackers. And I guess you could get lucky this time of year too. I don't, but I don't, uh, I don't come down here to pan fish, so I don't really stay on top of them. I'm not really sure what they're up to, but that's a good piece of bait. If we can put them in the cooler. If you're going to be thankful for anything, be thankful that God made bluegill kind of stupid. Because if they were smart, fishing would be a whole lot more difficult. I called bluegill stupid and I haven't gotten a bite since. Alright, getting casted out. Uh, for dragging here. Um, we are in an adjacent creek uh, to the one we were in yesterday and then we're gonna on our way out of this creek hit there should be a ledge there's a very steep ledge over on this side that I'm actually should probably avoid slightly. I've fished it before and it was hang up city so but I really do believe that there's some fish up in here. Because that 20 pounder that we caught yesterday was coming from this direction uh, about 100 yards out there going over a ledge. So I'm trying to hit the ledge on a different angle and see what we can come up with. Probably get hung up. Well, just like that, we got a spread and we've got a mix of uh, floats versus rattles, a couple different leader lengths. The uh, the 20 pounder came on a uh, yellow float with no rattles yesterday, so be interested to see what happens today. I think we might have a fish on here. If so, he's going to get so tangled up in this other line. A weird, weird takedown. All these fish have been weird takedowns. Yeah, he's. He's definitely in that other line. I say definitely, I don't know. If it's hung up, it's just hung up on a log or something. I haven't felt any head shakes. But I'd like to get them over on the side of the boat. I think this is going to be the first ride on the purple reel. Oh, there's a head shake. I wonder if it's going to be an eater size or not. It doesn't feel like it. Got a bunch of, it's Saturday, so I got a bunch of bass boats around me. Yeah, he's in that other line. Uh, too big to eat, but big enough for a picture. I'll take it all up in that other line. About the same size as that one from yesterday. Uh, maybe a little bigger. Keep moving forward so the mother planter boards can keep doing what they do. We got a dang tangled mess up in here. On the FOA planter board, FOA bright bite hook, FOA float, FOA dragon weight, FOA rod. The list goes on and on. You should definitely check them out, man. Everybody talks a big game like they want to support small businesses and then they go buy their gear from Bass Pro Shops who could give a rat's butt about a catfish. All this is that other line. Easy kill out, easy. Just trying to help you. Ooh. Well, there she is. 
that's a good one all right i'd say she's about the same weight about 20 pounds at least maybe a little over 21 22 something like that i think she's long though very long fired up she got me good got me real good guys i'm not sure what's going on here i don't know if i'm hung up or what i i feel head shakes but it this sun gun ain't moving i'm wondering if he's got me in a snag or what but i just don't know i got a dang mess here though i'm just trying to keep tension on him see if maybe i can get one of these other rods out of the way or all of them and there's some big fish hitting the top of the water and i'm not really sure what they are they might be those might be stripers i think we got a fish and he swam me into a snag we got a fish on here there's a small one on that one i didn't know he was there oh good we got our eater no matter what happens over here i'm snagged is what i am but it sure felt like uh I could feel head shakes there for a minute. I gotta put this guy in the rock. Cause I don't think a whole lot is gonna be happening there. All right, what the heck? What do we have here? Good. Oh my gosh, you ain't hooked at all. Let's get you in the net. I think I have a there's a fish on here y'all I'm pretty dang sure there's a fish on here and I got the wind blowing against the boat oh, man I don't have my sunglasses neither we're gonna have to do some editing on this there's a fish on here I'm gonna use the trolling motor see if I can get over there to them probably be a dang hundred pounder I'll try to keep tension on the line it's either a really good fish or a small fish that's got me in a snag I think I think it's one or the other I appreciate that bass boat making all them wakes to go all of 50 freaking yards That's the kind of thing. It ain't that bad when it's just me, but if I got my kids on the boat or something, that really pisses me off. What, for what? Three pounds worth of fish? That's a dang one of these anyways. Kevin Van Dam is my hero. Oh, I felt something. I felt something break loose. All right, we just got them two eaters. I got them on a rope, on a little stringer, makeshift stringer behind the boat. And uh, wind's picking up, so I think I'm gonna head in. 
and uh, get ready for some breakfast maybe uh, cook these guys up for lunch I don't know how much of that y'all will see maybe none of it uh, but either way we'll be back out uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning Well, good morning. It's actually the last day that we are here and I am pushing off of our little beach area here. It's also my birthday and last night I guess my wife came down here and put a happy birthday banner on the rod rack. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully we can catch a fish on this last day. That'd be kind of That'd be kind of nice. Boat's covered in sand, dirt, and mud because yesterday I took the wife out, I took my daughter out, and we got out and explored and did all kinds of things. and That was a lot of fun. But that's where all this dirt come from. Oh. I think the water I think the water levels dropped every day so every time I beach the boat it's harder to get it off all right we're off had to put a stepping stone in the water there to keep my socks dry I can't stand wet wet feet with socks on and of course got the motor trimmed way up anyway That's about the biggest one I've caught all weekend. <laughs> all right, well, we have a handful. That's enough. I'm only going to put four rods out. Probably going to get hung up on three of them. Might catch a fish on one. We'll see. All right, it's windy, but we finally got all four suspended or uh, planter boards out. I got hung up twice before I could even get out of this creek, so. But I was able to save the rigs. It's just a pain in the butt because you got to go back and go get them. It wasn't supposed to rain until like, I don't know, 3 o'clock or something. And then I checked this morning and it said 9.30. There's a chance. So. All right, guys. I'm back at the ramp. It got uh, pretty dang windy out there on the main lake. And it's supposed to rain in about half an hour. And I got to get this boat packed up and go back to the campsite and make sure everything's okay there but i appreciate y'all watching not really sure what kind of video this is gonna be but i'd like to put one out i haven't put a video out in a while so thank you for watching and i hope you uh catch some fish <laughs>